Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. It's about half past 11 at night, and we find Mama and Papa driving along in their car on their way home from a dinner dance and banquet. Mama says, Papa, huh? would you please close the window? I'm getting a little chilly. Uh, all right, Mama, all right. Uh, 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 thank you, Papa. You're welcome, Mama. Uh, say, Becky, Becky, what's the matter? You ain't helped me to drive. Then there ain't nobody else on the streets. You've got a lot of room, and I don't have to help you. Oh, I see. Uh, and my feet hurt, Mama. <laughs> Your feet hurt. <laughs> I thought so. How could you think so when they're my feet? I don't have to have your feet to know that they are hurting. And, Jake, in the morning, you will have indigestion. No, oh, Mama, please don't say that. You shouldn't make me think about that. You should have been thinking about it, Jake, when you ate so much and drank the champagne. Oh, Mama, you got too many syllables. It's just plain champagne. You got too many glasses full of it. I was having a good time. Yeah, you was having a good time. You was like a gigolo. <laughs> a gigolo, huh? I was like a gigolo. Mama, please tell me, is there a law that says I mustn't have a good time? There is no law that says you don't have a good time. But there is something that says you shouldn't make a spectator of yourself. <laughs> This late at night, you're starting something I don't understand. Anyway, the word you mean, I think, is spectacle. The word I meant was fool. Fool? Yeah. F-O-U-L, fool. Uh, you spelled it wrong. I know what I spelled, and you was it. Mama, please, are we going to get into an argument? Two people don't get into a argument when one of them is telling the other one what he was. Twenty times you danced. I didn't dance twenty times, not even half that many times. Then you can't count so very good. I said 20 times you danced, and every time you danced with the same one. The same one, the same one. Mama, this is no time of the night to be telling me mystery stories. Tomorrow I will hear one from Sydney and Harold. Tonight all I want to do is go home to bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 20 times she dances with the same one, with the funny hair. Mama, will you please stop talking to me? I got to talk to somebody, and I'm mad at you. Will you please tell me why you're mad at me, Becky? I just told you. Because I danced with somebody. That's right, that's right. You danced with the same woman 20 times. Mama, you ain't jealous. Oh, I should be jealous. Twenty years ago, maybe I would be jealous. You had hair then. Stop insulting me, Mama, for nothing. For nothing at all. Yeah, if I'm insulting you, I'm doing it for something, not for nothing. Twenty times you danced, I count So it. you counted by twos. Besides, I danced with you too. Yeah, once. Your feet hurt then. Mama, look, please. I danced with her because it was good business. So you danced with her because it was good business. Is she going to buy pictures from you? But is she going to make you get a lot of money? You, you, what kind of business is there in spending dancing times with the same one? She is the wife of one of the biggest exhibitors who takes our pictures. Mama, please understand this. I had to dance with her. It wasn't even good then. It was so. You look like a bear. It was good business. Her husband couldn't dance, so I danced to her so I could tell her about the new picture. In 20 dances, you could be telling her the history of the United States, and you wouldn't even have to skip anything. Mama, will you please stop? You danced with her because she looked like Ida Goldfarb. Like Ida Goldfarb. Oh, I knew there was something. 
Mama, please, she didn't look anything like Ida Goldfarb. She's got hair like Ida Goldfarb had 22 years ago when you took her to Coney Island. <laughs> Say, I know. You know, you know. I wish we would have stayed home. I bet you do. Mama, please, I don't even remember what Ida Goldfarb looked like anymore. She looked like Ida Goldfarb. She didn't look anything like Ida Goldfarb. Ida Goldfarb was a little thinner. Huh, so you don't remember what Ida Goldfarb looked like, huh? But you can tell me that this one was fatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama, I give up. Yeah, you should. Jake, you drove past our house. I drove past our house. It's a wonder I'm driving at all. Oh, I, oh, I don't say anything. I'll, I'll turn around, I'll go back. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm going to leave the car on the street without putting it in the garage. Yeah, yeah, 20 dances make you so tired that you leave the car where somebody should steal it. All right. All right, so if they steal it, we got insurance. What are you worrying about? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, say, Mama, Mama, wait a minute. I've got to lock up the car. Yeah, I'll stand by. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jake. Mm. Maybe you're too tired to open the door. No, Mama, no, I'm not. I will open the door. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, ay, 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 ay. I'm so very, very tired. Yeah, I know, I Mama, know. Mama, please, please listen to me. So I shouldn't be awake all night arguing. I'm telling you for the last time, I danced with her because she is the wife of one of the men who takes our pictures, and it was good business. Mama, you know, I don't even like to dance. <laughs> he don't like to dance. He don't like to dance. <laughs> like a boiling devil fish she was 20 times. It was five times. All right. Never mind, Papa. <sighs> you should get ready for the bed, yes? Mm -hmm. Just like Ida Goldfarb she was, except for the hair. Mama, not one little bit that she looked like Ida Goldfarb. Not even as much as you look like Papa, her. don't be telling me I look like Ida Goldfarb. I didn't. All I said was she looked as much like Ida Goldfarb as you do, and you don't look anything like her. You look like a Rebecca Bloom. And who should I be looking like? Rebecca Bloom. Papa, mm. I am Rebecca Bloom. Can I forget it? Huh. Don't insult me behind my face. I'm not insulting you at all. Mama, please, please, for the 500th time, I am telling you that I danced with her because it was good business. Would I torture my feet to be dancing like a gigolo if it wasn't for something? No, would I? Maybe not. Of course not, Mama. Yeah. Jake. Yes, Mama. Jake, are you sure you didn't dance with her because she looked like Ida Goldfarb? Mama. Mama, I will take an oath on it. I will go in front of a judge, in front of ten judges, and take ten oaths on it. But I didn't. I didn't dance with her because she looked like Ida Goldfarb. I was not even thinking of Ida Goldfarb. I stopped thinking of either Goldfarb and a whole family when I married you. That's nice, Papa. That's nice. Thank you. Maybe she didn't look so much like either Goldfarb after all. Then why was you making all the fuss? A fuss I wasn't making. I was just wondering about it. Yeah, you was just wondering about it. Just wondering about it. For a half an hour, you've been wondering out loud and making my whole life miserable. All right, so we got it all settled. You didn't dance with her because she looked like either Goldfarb. That's right, that's right. Now you believe me. Well, all right, I believe you. But you shouldn't think about Ida Goldfarb at all. I don't, Mama. All I want to do now is go to bed and go to sleep. All right, Jake. Don't forget to wind the clock, huh? Right, this right. morning he didn't drink and five minutes past the right time we slept. All right, so I'll wind the clock. Give it a good wind. Yeah. And put this stiff short in the drawer, huh? All right, Mama. Once again, you can wear it before it gets sent to the laundry. And, Papa. Mm. Don't be tearing the collar from the short. I'm passing the little button, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Mama. I, I did. That's good, Jake. That's good. <sighs> The pajamas are in the closet there. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Jake? Yeah, Becky? It was just for business reasons, huh? Becky, you're going to start that all over again? All right, so I don't start again. It was just for business reasons, and I believe you. <laughs> you know something, Becky? What, Jake? You're jealous. Sure I am, Jake. I'm very jealous. But why, Mama? Because I love you very, very much. And I love you, Mama. That's nice, Jake. Very nice. Hey... Now go to bed because you gotta get up early in the yeah, morning. Yeah, mommy, yeah. Ay, the bed feels so very good, Mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I would like some of it. Move over, Jake. Huh? Oh, oh, sure, sure. Papa? Hmm? Who's going to turn out the light? The light? Oh, oh, all right. So. Yeah. Be careful in the dark, Papa, and don't disturb your toes. Feel along the bottom of the bed and you won't get lost, huh? Uh, oh, what's that, your foot? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, Mama. There right. you are. Huh? Uh, all right, Mama, all right, I'm all right again. Jake, 
Oh, I'm so glad she didn't look like either girl. <laughs> so am I, Mama. So am I very much. Good night, Mama. Good, Good night. Good night, Papa. <laughs> Oi. The telephone, Jake, you'll have to answer no, it. No, we'll pretend it's the wrong number. Maybe they'll go Jake, away. Jake, answer the telephone. It might be very important. Nothing is important when I'm in bed. Jake, they're getting impatient. Answer it. All right, all right. If it's the wrong number, I'm going to sue Hurry up, Papa, before it gives out this connection. I wish it would. Some schlemiel calling up at midnight. There it goes again, Jake. Hurry up, will you? I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Hello? 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 Oh, well, what do you want? I was in bed. Almost asleep, I wasn't dreaming. Who is it, Papa? Just a minute, Mama. Hello? Well, what do you want? I... Who? I wait till I see you in the morning. Goodbye. Jake, you shouldn't be keeping me in suspension. Who was it? What's the matter? Nothing, nothing. Jake, you can't stand like that and tell me somebody would call up in the middle of the night and don't want nothing. All right, all right, Mama. It was Sydney. Now I'm going to turn off the light and go to sleep. Something's wrong with the children. i got to find that bed again. Keep talking, Mama. Keep I'm talking. Keeping so I'm keeping talking, but I'm worrying. Papa, for the first time, are you going to tell me what Sidney wants? Nothing important, Mama. Nothing important. That dope. Jake, is something the matter with the children? No, Mama, no. There is, and you're trying to keep it from me. Oi, my poor children. Mama, stop talking through your hat. There's nothing the matter. There is something the matter because you don't tell me. The children have met a fiend on the way home. Which hospital are they in? Oh. Get up, Jake. We gotta go. No, Mama, we are not going to a hospital. There's nothing the matter with anybody Papa, except me. I know me. there's something the matter. I can feel it in my skin. We gotta go. Jake, don't get uh, in bed. Uh, Point out the light and get dressed. But, Mama, I'm telling you, there's nothing I the matter. I know there is. I can tell it by my woman's ignition. Oh, all right, Mama. All right, so get up and get dressed. You see, I knew there was something wrong. Turn on the light, Jake. Mama, I am not getting dressed because there's something wrong with the children. I'm getting dressed because I'm afraid after I'm telling you what Sidney wanted, I won't be able to sleep anyway. Oh, they, they, uh, yeah. Papa, what's the matter? What's the matter? You... Uh, Oh, Mama, I, I got to tell you. I won't get peace one way or the other. Sydney, Sydney, that's Lamille. Yeah, yeah. He calls up this time of the night to tell me yeah, that, yeah. That, uh, that I might like to know that the woman I danced with was either Goldfarb's cousin. <laughs> <laughs>